This guy's got a gun out over here, Mom. What's that? I was telling my mom on the phone that this guy's got a gun out. What? Why do they have guns? Do well, have he just put it away. Now he has a, right, a shotgun or a rifle. Do you have registration or insurance? I, I don't know. I have the tag and this insurance. Yeah. The guy at the DNV told us that that, that yeah. trip permit is a uh, registration. Okay. Let me put it through the window so I can see it. Can you crack your door? Can I look at crack your door so I can verify that this van matches the vehicle? No, you can see the van. Well, I want to stick my, feet, my face in front of your car. Well, it's just right there. I'll okay. keep my hands right here. Turn the vehicle off. Where are you guys headed to? We are going to get food. some food. Where at? Where are you guys coming back from? From. We're new here. Yeah, we just moved up here. Where do you guys currently live? I, so I'm, I'm writing you a citation right now. I need to know where you guys. Well, our mail. current address, because we are still ha don't have I'm all of our stuff moved out, is 1439. That's our current address. The Toledo, Oregon. Yes. And we just moved up here, and we still got Where half of... Where are you guys staying out of here? I'm down the road from Vernonia. There is no address on the road. Are you guys actually staying in Vernonia? On down, Vernon down Vernonia. Down Vernonia Road. Mm -hmm. Vernonia Road. Right, right down, down this road. highway. Skip this Vernonia Highway? How yeah. far up the highway? A couple of miles. I would say, right. and there's no sign on the on the. Are you guys staying actually on the? Is your address actually on the highway? You guys live in the tent or what? Well, um, we live in a cabin. Building, yeah. You guys live in the cabin. Nothing to be concerned about. I have a gun. You have a gun? Yes. Where's it at? Right here. No, don't grab for it. No, she's not. Don't grab for it. But it's kind of nerve-wracking that this guy has a gun up and ready and like... Well, I understand that, but... What's his name? Right. Can you see his name? Can I have your name? Yeah, Deputy Haas. Deputy Haas, alright. H-A-A-S. Her hands are up! What the fuck? Yeah, this guy's got a rifle at the ready. I'm recording, but okay. I, I can't really see him. Well, you could kind of... If we could get a clear picture in the mirror, you could see him, but... There you have to, He's walking up. They're all walking up now. They're all armed walking up to the vehicle. Our hands are up. What's your name, sir? Can I have all your names so I can get it on recording? They're not giving us their names. Find out what they're doing, son, before you go ballistic, okay? Well, I'm not going ballistic. I just want to know their names because... There's three cops behind our car with guns. And that's not very okay. No, it's not. We do have small children. Are they in the car? No. no. They're not in the car, but I just want just them to know. Just stop talking about... Just don't talk to them. Yeah, we're still here. Okay. They're still standing right at the back side of my side with guns drawn. Your side? Yeah, on the passenger side. Could you just state your names, please? Well, they're refusing to give us their names on recording. If you 
pulled this over by that mirror. Would you get them? Maybe. No, it's it's too dark. It's too dark. So for recording purposes, let's just go over what we were pulled. He pulled us over and said, do you know why I'm pulling you over? Uh, can I have the lighter? Yeah. And then said, you didn't have any place on your Durango or your truck, which we clearly have a freaking trip permit on the back. Yeah, I think. It expires after 30 days. It expires after 30 days. Uh, he said it's good till August. Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't think they're concerned about that. They're backing off, so, with their drone guns. I think the reason that he pulled us over is because he saw Brandy in this Durango earlier and he was waiting for her <coughs> and expected to see her when he pulled us over. really bad. You can see the trip permit. I'm sorry about the recording, guys. I don't know anything yet. I just know the street cops with guns drawn on the east side of the Durango. They're backed off with their guns. They're backing off with their guns. Yeah, I got Chris on one ear and you and the other. I don't know. Chris don't know. He said he's given Laura a citation. He's given Laura a citation. No, they backed off with the gun. I'll call you when I, when I know what's going on, okay? Tell him, tell him to call now, it's okay. Okay. What's up? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What's up? Hey, you okay? Yeah, we're okay. They, okay. They, did they put the fucking gun away? Sort of. They're, they backed off. And all they're doing is giving Laura a citation? So far is all we know. That they ordered you out of the vehicle or anything? No. I mean, they still, they're still standing there with their guns, but... It's okay. So, who do you think it's the protocol that because you're in the vehicle, they're standing like that? I don't know why. Well, fuck, man. Yeah, I don't know what. Hold on. Hey, I'm going to. 
on the line with you. That's cool. I prefer if you stay on the line. Do you have a speakerphone on your phone? Yeah, it's on speakerphone. Okay. Yeah, leave it on. Call? Yeah, it, we're good. Okay. And you got the baby? No. Well, just hey, keep your cool, man. Like, no. I don't need to be caught. I don't know even what's going on. Alright, just keep your cool. Um, I don't know. If I had a, a Cisco here, dude, I'd be looking up this gap number and I'd be figuring it the fuck out, but I can't. Well, one of our buddies is supposed to be coming over to drive the Durango, maybe. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm just going to take it home. Huh? I'm just going to take it home. I think what's happened is they figured out what they've decided to do. They're going to go ahead and issue me a citation. And now they're just... And now they're writing it. Hey, it's just well, weird. the guy's still... The, the sheriff's still walking around and talking to both of them. He's got a citation book in his hand, but he's just walking around. And there's one scapoose cop standing here behind the sheriff door with his gun still drawn, but... He's coming. Right next to me. Right next to you? Mm -hmm. You know what carrying concealed means? It's not concealed, it's just behind my leg. It's behind your leg? Yeah, it's right here, in between the seat and the console. Right behind the seat and the console. Can I move her coat for you? No, I'll reach down. Okay. It's not concealed. Grab, put your hands up. I Sorry. I don't want to think about you grabbing the gun. Sorry, I was trying not to but flick it, ash we, we in your face. See it if we will not. On you, it's considered concealed. I'm fat. What do you want me to do? I'm. I can suck in my gut. I still don't see where it's at. It's. it's here, right can you see here. my finger? Yeah. It's pointing straight down over there. It's in between my seat and my console. I mean, you could watch me, and I could push your coat over there, and you could see the back of it. I'm sure. I don't need you okay. to push my coat. I'm assuming you guys are recording me? Yes, I am. Well, I'd appreciate if you let me know. I don't, I'm cool with it, but oh. it's a crime if you record me. And I don't know no, it's not. Actually, We've I already just, I just a want a, a court case. <laughs> I just want a six-person jury court case for recording public officials. Well, the last, last time I checked, the Oregon State Law said that. If as long as one person knows that they're being recorded, and that would be me. No, that's over the phone, yeah. And I'm just so making record. Conversation with you. Yes, correct. But if it's face-to-face... But you're, you you're a public employee or government, right? Yeah. Body. Right. And so. Regardless. Okay. Here's this. Thank you. You receive a citation for GWS. Driving while suspended. Violation. Court date's going to be March 25th, 2015 at 10 a.m. at the Columbia County Justice Court. Which is in what town? Columbia City. Columbia City. I can find it. Okay. You can't drive. You don't have a license, you can't drive. I don't drive. You're driving right now. No. We're traveling. Oh. It's okay. I'd like to meet the sheriff. What's the sheriff's name? Uh, sheriff, Jeff Dickerson. Jeff Dickerson? Sheriff Jeff Dickerson. And will he be in tomorrow? Um, I don't know. I don't know his work schedule. I work oh. for him. He doesn't work for me. Okay. I can't tell you that. All but, right. But Sheriff Jeff Dickerson, yes. I will love to sit down and talk to him. And the back citation is playing how you can take care of it, okay? Okay. Bottom of citation, if you're going to mail anything in, mm -hmm. you have to mail it into the Vernonia address. If you're going to appear or do anything in person, you have to go to the Columbia City address. So make sure you read the back citation carefully and explain what your options are, okay? Okay. All right. There's two different addresses. Just read thoroughly, all right? Sure. Don't drive, don't drive, drive, drive. You can't drive. I don't drive. You can't drive away. I this, don't. This vehicle does not move. These wheels do not move. 
with you behind the driver's seat and you turning the wheels and pushing on the gas because it's a violation and you will get stopped again. Okay, but and now you're stopped. writing the statutes though, right? No, I'm not. Would you like having coffee with me? I'd I'm love to. Not. Really? No. Man, what is... Because we can sit down and explain the statutes to you where okay. it... Well, I'm sorry. This is a recreational vehicle. It's not a don't don't be sorry. You're doing your job, yeah. but I'd like to help you. Okay. There's well, there's a I've got plenty of help. There's a part in the statutes where we'll talk to his his boss okay. and his I'm, boss. I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know. You drive off. You drive off. I'm gonna stop you again. I don't care what your definition means, but I know what the definition means in the Oregon State statute. Operating a vehicle is when you're behind for the business seat, purposes. The wheels are rolling, and you're going down a public road. That's operating. That's you, driving. Uh, no offense, but do you have any definitions for those? Yes, I do. Because if you could pull them up online, I can give you the Secretary of State's yeah, website. I, would, I wouldn't guarantee you would go online. See these little cheat sheets. These are pocket books. Do, do you, you have an extra one of those? What's that? Do you have an extra one of those? Could you show me? Is there definitions in there for operating a motor vehicle in Oregon? Absolutely. Can we get Here's one? The key for you, okay? When you're looking up a line, don't look up a half a step of No, line. I go to no, the we, official government website go. for the Secretary of State, Kate Brown. Go, so I, I, I'm done with my status stuff because I'm free to go. So if you want to sit here and talk, great. I, I would love to not have fear of you guys. I would love to sit down and talk to you guys. I'm, We're honorable people. We really are. Well, I, we are going to get ourselves and our kids some food. Us. And I, don't to, I don't know why you want to label us because... Oh, well, I, I don't want to... Look, I have the utmost respect for sheriffs because sheriffs are the true law enforcement officers, period. Okay. Hands down. Because you get your authority from the people and you don't work for the municipalities compared to police officers. However, if you're not willing to talk to us, then why are you working well, for the people? The Whatever you read online... No, it's not. Hold, hold on. Stuff that's online... It's, it's Hold on now. Ridiculous. Hold on. We've been to the Capitol. Okay. We've talked to oh, our so senator. You, if you're looking up vehicle laws, criminal laws, any of that stuff, don't look online. If you're going to look online, look at so, Google Oregon Revised Statutes. Absolutely. We know exactly where to look up the laws. <laughs> right. And we, we have personally been up to talk to our senators and representatives. Right. Like Roblin, uh -huh. Domberg. We talk to Kate Brown regularly. So we understand the she's putting out her cigarette. We understand the definition layout of the statutes and operating a motor vehicle in Oregon means operating a motor vehicle for the physical operation of a motor vehicle for business purposes only. You look up any definition of business, Oregon Revised Statutes, in any definition, it's commercial activity. I'm sorry, I don't agree with you, and that's why I'm giving you a court date. If you disagree with me, you're going to have your day in court. We'll sit down and, and you will be there. I will be there if you want to contest it in court. I, I give well, I want to explain it to you because you, you won't we listen. Sit, we can sit down in front of a judge, and he's going to be the one that determines what uh, operating a vehicle means, what highway means, what all that good stuff means. I know what it means. At least I believe I know what it means, and that's what I'm for. And I believe you're you know, slightly you're off, right, but... Like I said, you're entitled to your day in court. you got a court date. Talk to the judge. Arrange a time to sit down. We'll all sit down and talk about it together. Okay? All right. No Any coffee. Questions? Would you like to have breakfast? No. I'll pay. I don't like mornings. Oh. No. Lunch? I'm not a morning person. Okay. No offense. I'm just not a morning person. Thank you. Alright. Have a good night. The gun? You don't want to carry that with you. Are you your video? Oh, I, I do want to carry a gun with me always. Thank you. She's not always by her, or she's not always with people, so I would no. prefer my wife carry. When she's, Absolutely. Especially when she's by herself. Cause you carry one for your safety. I carry one for mine. See, the problem is, look at me. You know I have a gun? Sure. If she was out, you have a gun? if she was out, you would know if she had a gun or not. But right now, she's buckled into her it's, vehicle. It's my we right have, yeah. to have it. I'm not going to debate that. So then you should just assume that... There we go. You should assume that everybody may be armed or unarmed. I do. Like, well, so I take the chances I do. Of course, but I, I do have to say, though, you've been respectful, but having the people stand back here with guns ready, that's not a very... Can we get their names, or way, how yeah. how can we go and get their names? Call log or something? There's a whole bunch. I don't know. Well, I we know. Would, <laughs> would you be willing to ask them to give us their names for our recording and for our... Records. Records. Because they, they are standing behind it's our automobile. 
It's got to be a call log. It's what? On public property. Right? So, <laughs> There's got to be a call log. Time, I'm telling you, these vehicles, these, these wheels move, and you're, either one of you walk, uh, behind the driving wheel, you're going to get stopped again. We'll go through the same routine. I'll probably tell you the vehicle next time. So you know. It's private property. This is public property. This is private property. This is public property. But you're willing to steal private property? That's theft. It's private property. <laughs> it's criminal. I never do. Don't travel in the car. Oh, be careful. Go there. You want to?